it's late, but I really want to declutter my room. All of this that you can't see that well is perfectly fine, <laughs> super minimal, literally barely any decorations, but this is kind of what I have avoided since moving into my apartment. It's all my crafts and all my mail that I accumulate that I know is important. It doesn't need attention right now, but eventually I might need it. So I've also got binders and who knows what else in that corner. I want to consolidate all my crafts into a kitchen cupboard and see if that works, even though that looks like a ton right now. But obviously I haven't touched it in a while, so some of this stuff I probably shouldn't even keep. So let's see if I can declutter some of this stuff because for me, my bedroom should be a place that I walk in and it's peaceful for me to sleep. And all I see when I walk around my bed is a disaster. I see creativity, but also a disastrous mess. I am going to be tackling this little storage unit first. I think I can maybe make use of it, but I don't know if it's really going to fit the idea that I want to have in my bedroom because eventually I do want to drop a design of kind of what new decor I want and colors because I just haven't had a bedroom that I absolutely love in so long. Probably since middle school when any super bright color along with zebra print was the best, most optimal, most wanted room. I don't know why. I mean, I still love zebras, but not lime green zebra print. So anyways, I'm going to declutter this stand first and then just work my way that way because I know some of my electronics and stuff will go on this little shelf since it is my desk area as well. I do not need directions on how to use a tripod. That can always be Googled. I should probably get a trash bag. This is just so fun right now because I know I'm supposed to go to bed in probably like an hour and a half just to get my optimal amount of sleep for me. But it's just to show that decluttering is so fun in the most obscure hours. I love doing it at night because I don't want to go to bed necessarily. And so it's just so fun and it doesn't even have to be perfect. I'm just going through as much as I can and I can always go through and declutter more stuff if I eventually find stuff that I don't need or use anymore. So I'm just going to have fun with this. And I'm also not doing any cleaning right now. I'm literally just trying to organize this space up. Got an empty basket and I can see what I can store there eventually. I really do not need my tripod bag. I never use it. Who knows how long this has been charging for. Whoops. This wouldn't even work for my new laptop anymore. Nope. I'm finding all this stuff from my furniture when I first bought it. I bought most of this stuff from Ikea just because I was having to rush to get my apartment put together, at least have some stuff, when I moved out of my dorm in college. And basically, I'm finding all these things that I haven't touched since. 
So I'm pretty sure I don't need them because they're still holding up. And I think they'll be okay if I don't have them anymore. So getting rid of these. I just truly hope that one day I'm not like, man, I really wish I had something better. I'm not even going to try to look, so I don't know what I'm going to miss. Um, papers for a printer I don't own anymore. I am so happy with how this looks at the moment. I know more stuff is going to go here. This is going to be for my computer. I just prefer not having it on my desk. Well, my laptop. And I'm going to go from there. I am trying to be as ruthless as possible <laughs> with stuff. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> This is a birthday calendar and I grew up with my mom having one and so I thought I really wanted one, but I, I put all the birthdays into my phone. So I just really don't think I need this anymore. Christmas wrapping. It's a little bit crazy. I honestly don't know why I've waited so long to uh, do all this because I know I'm going to love it so much more and I'm going to actually be able to use my desk. I literally have not touched my desk in months because I just keep collecting everything right here. Uh oh. I don't love that, but it doesn't fit. I used to put it in my closet, but the problem with that is that it's too far away from my laptop, so I wouldn't actually go get it. Hmm. A very functional place to put it would be right beside my sofa where I reach for it, but I don't know if I just want this sitting there. I think I'm gonna try it though. I am finally uncovering these palette knives that my grandpa got me at a yard sale or garage sale. He bought a whole bundle of things and these just happen to be in it. They're great quality, they seem like. I don't love this look <laughs> on my desk. Oh, <laughs> I literally have no idea how this cord got in there. These were my brothers, but he never used them anymore. So now I use them on occasion and I was looking for a connection. These are for beats. I mean, clearly he doesn't use them. Finally, a clean desk, but now this mess. I'm really thinking this, um, what is it called? Tripod. An easel. This easel needs to go. As much as I love displaying my unfinished artwork, seeing how much more I need to do, it just takes up so much space and I can't get to my window that well to open my blinds. The amount of work this takes to to, to fold up, I just really don't know if I'm going to be using it that much, but I'm going to give myself a little bit of time, and a little bit of time means time when I actually start painting again, to figure out if I will use this or if I'll just paint on my table. Man, I feel like this already looks so much better. It was just taking up so much space between the walkway and my bed. Oh, my lovely cardigan that I never finished knitting because it's not that cute. I was literally filming this at one point. Let me just show you. Yes, I'm wearing a very chunky sweater under this, but this just does not fit right. I do not know what I did wrong. I thought I was following a template and then it just sticks up in the back. Not that cute. You know what, I think I might try donating this because 
I think it could be really warm. And so I'll just cut off the strings and donate it. I was wanting to reuse the patches, but I really just don't think that's gonna work because I would have to untie each of them and I spent a lot of time making sure that these would not come apart. So I think somebody's just gonna get a handmade little jacket. <laughs> Honestly, I'm thinking that, well, I don't like this here. I'm thinking that all these canvases oh, will probably have to go under my bed because these ones are so big, I don't think they'll fit in my cupboard. I don't love having stuff under my bed, but I need storage and space. I tell you what, this trash can has been great. It's nice that it has a lid. It's perfect for by my desk, but it is one big piece of metal right here. Not my favorite thing to look at. And actually I haven't even put a bag in it since I've moved here. So I haven't used it at all, but I also haven't been sitting at my desk. And I think maybe if I sat at my desk more, I would use it, but I could all day long, all night long, come up with ideas of when I could use this. Wow, I could turn this into a stool. Yeah, no. This is going to be donated or I'm gonna ask some people I know to see if they could benefit from this. Oh, lovely binders. And it's empty. I am so excited. Now I can just sit in the corner of my bedroom, but I need to go through this. That is the tiniest binder clip I've ever seen. I don't know what I would ever use it for. <laughs> Love it when I thought saving this container was going to be something for crafts. Finding so many crafts that I haven't touched yet because I got them for Christmas, but I'm so excited to use these. These look so pretty. And to mess around with oil pastels. I haven't done that since middle school art class, probably. All of this stuff should fit into my kitchen. So I'm gonna go move it over there. Honestly, I wish I didn't have the trait of wanting to do random things at night, like declutter my hidden clutter but the thing is is that it's just so fun i feel like my mind is just going crazy at night in the best possible way because i'm thinking of all the things i can do like i'm constantly thinking about what i can do to decorate my bedroom and this is such a great step for, de uh, for decorating my bedroom because now I'm gonna actually have space and it's actually probably gonna look a little empty in the corner, but I don't mind embracing that for a little bit until I find stuff that I really truly enjoy. Also going under my bed. <laughs> I sure hope I touch this stuff under my bed. If I don't, then it's gonna be decluttered at another time. Yay, 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 yay. This is what I've been looking forward to the most is getting rid of this. It might be practical, but it is an eyesore in my room. I'm not a fan of it at all. I said I wasn't gonna do any cleaning, but having a freshly decluttered space just makes me wanna make sure that there's no dust on it so I can use it properly, so why not?
Any suggestions for something to go under my bonsai tree other than this hideous plastic water catcher would be greatly appreciated. The other thing is, is I wonder if I'll get one before it actually dies. It just looks so rough. Ugh. Mm. This cord is not covered great anymore, but eventually I'll find a way to cover that. I am so, so happy with how this turned out. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this space right now. I was considering sliding this over and centering it more, but I don't want this to be in the way of here. So I'm just gonna do one thing. Um, that's not gonna work. <laughs> if I can figure out something to do about those cords, this should be fine. Now my issue is all these cords, which I don't love that anymore, but I think it looks a lot more uniform over here versus everything being pushed up over here. And yes, according to my clock, this took me less than two hours. I think I started after eight. And I'm so much happier. Bye.